the pin there. Just feel this start to Tight. stretch out. Okay. So, yeah. Push, push. So that's extension is still an issue. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Need some work there. Yep. And exhale. All right, you're going to start to feel it pulsate. Inhale, exhale. What's up, everybody? Dr. Anen here. Today I'm with Kuzefa, who is a PT and a competitive bodybuilder, um, who is training clients and working out of uh, Dubai. Um, so I think today is like his fourth or fifth session with me. Initially, he came through with an issue where uh, he was seeing an anterior rotation of the shoulder while lifting, uh, I think shoulder pressing and bench pressing, correct? Pressing, yeah. uh, pulling. Yeah. Pre uh, pressing and pulling. Um, during our examination, we found quite a lot of inhibition of the muscles on the left side, starting at the wrist, wrist and working its way up uh, to the neck. Uh, he mentioned a history of left side and neck pain, which was on and off. And uh, the two kind of coincided. So we've been treating him over the last couple of weeks. He's made some good progress and he's in today for follow-up. So we're going to reassess him and uh, we're going to see how he's doing and what treatment we can provide for him today. All right. All right. Let's start here. Lift your fingers for me, please. Push up. Push, push, push. Okay. Grip for me, please. Grip. There we go. Turn your hand over, make a fist, lift your wrist up, push up. Okay, turn over, lift up, push up. Good. I just want to do this side as a comparison. Lift your wrist fingers up for me, push up, push, push, push. So that's extension is still an issue. Lift your wrist up, hold. Okay, relax. Well, make that's a fist. Still stronger, isn't it? Yeah. Make a fist for me, please, both sides. Let's get you to uh, supinate for me. Good. Pronate. Good, that's much stronger. Supinate for me. Yep. Pronate. Good. Let's get you to flex for me, please. Good. Flex for me. And relax. And then extend. Push down. Good. Relax. Flex for me, please. Good. Flex for me. Good. And extend. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Start with this side. Push up for me. Great. And relax. Push up for me. Much better. Relax. Let's get this arm straight for me. Point your fist forward. Push back. Great. Up for me. Push back. Great. Relax. Push back for me. That's very good. You definitely applied more pressure yeah. there. You definitely did. I did? Yeah. Push back. There we go. Yeah. Let's try that one more time. Yeah. But push I mean, back. That, for that me. works. I felt like I was able to resist engage. It. Yeah, resist yeah. it still. This go side. And Let's go. Put more. There we go. That's Much better. Yeah. All right, let's get you shoulders back. Any pain in the neck? No. Okay. Any pain there? No. Any pain there? No. Any pain there? Just feel this start to Tight. stretch out. Okay. So, yeah. Any pain there? Any pain there? No. Any pain there? No. Good. Sensitive? Yep. Both sides? Yep. Here? Yep. Here? Yep. I'm pretty sure that's just muscular tightness at this point. So, <laughs> when are you looking to compete? Next year now. Next year? Yeah, okay. Next year. So, I need to get myself sorted. How's the bulk going? Pretty bulky right yeah. now. <laughs> on your back for me, what? How much of weight have you put on? Um, so far, I'm about 12 odd kilos. 12 kilos, yeah, okay. Roughly, yeah. 
<clears throat> okay. And what are you looking to get up to? Quite honestly, I don't have a goal weight in mind. Okay. It's more about uh, look. Look. Yeah, okay. more, more than anything. Push towards your hip for me, please. And relax. Cross, turn your wrist in, turn your wrist in, push across. And relax. What do you think of Sam Salik? Who? Sam Salik. Who the heck is that? Man, oh, he's like a this. TikTok YouTube sensation at the moment. But I'm not on TikTok. I'm barely on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Push your voice here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, okay. okay yeah, Need some work there. Yeah. Let's go across this way for me. Okay. Not too bad, but we probably need some work. Yeah. Let's get you to sit for me, please. All right. So let's pop the shirt off. Oh, the shirt. Yeah. <clears throat> so do you remember the photo the the picture we took the last time of your back you're doing a back pose yes yes yeah. you want to pop that on your yeah. chain yeah um so what we'll do is let's get you to do a back pose and uh let's see what those muscles are looking like mm -hmm. okay so maybe we can pin that picture i'll find it uh we'll try and pin, pin the picture up of what the muscles at the back were looking like before treatment and what it's looking like now after a period of treatment together with exercise rehab soft tissue techniques etc all right yeah. you can that's much better let's have a look here so there is much better um balance um what are you looking symmetry. symmetry there we go symmetry so you will see in the picture that we took the last time this side was much smaller um it looked a little bit underdeveloped now it is looking much better if anything the left side seems to be growing or looking a little bit better than the right side if anything okay but much better symmetry okay all right let's go through and get some treatment done <clears throat> okay so who's is in a much better place than he was when he came in he still has some issues in finger extension and wrist extension on the left side which i think is coming from the neck so what we're going to do today is going to we're going to work on the pec and lat which are a little bit weaker than the rest of the muscles today and then we're going to focus on the neck and we're going to end with a little bit of overall body manipulation Spinal manipulation, rather. Hold for me, please. You can rest. <clears throat> If you want to talk about fighting fears, this guy <laughs> is scared of needles and uh, he's still getting it done, you know? Making me sound like a white wuss. <laughs> Not me, I just thought I didn't like him. Didn't say I was scared of him. Come on now. <laughs> okay, okay. He doesn't like them. Again, I can't exactly imagine most people liking needles. No, no. Oh, well, <laughs> you know look, what I mean? Look, yes, you are 100% right. You do get the occasional whack job that walks in here and he's like, or she walks in here and he's like, I want all the needles and I want them yeah, now. Yeah, mate, they're you know? they, they, they ain't being legit. <laughs> <laughs> You 
You good? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so we're gonna work on your neck now. Okay, that's much better. Let's get you to lift your head down. There we go. Let's drop your chin for me slightly. Great. All right, bend your knees for me. There we go. And inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And rest. Any issues? No good. All good. Ears are not getting squashed or anything? No, good. Okay. So the idea with this is just <clears throat> the spine works with the pressure system. The discs resorb or hydrate when there's a negative pressure on the spine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you are asleep, this is when they decompress. When you are lying down, they decompress because there's less gravity on the disc. So mm -hmm. just to encourage this process, um, what we do is we create a traction and then we relax and then we pull again. So when we create this traction, let's say, for example, we pull at 100%, we'll release 50 and then from 50, we'll go back to 100. Yeah. Okay. And that's a negative pressure space that we want to be in. This creates a pumping mechanism and encourages the disc to pull in uh, fluid to hydrate itself and it also encourages the disc to go back into into its position okay this is a very simple and basic form of decompression that i'm doing there's other techniques like cox flexion distraction technique and then we also have a decompression table here mm -hmm. right now which i will show you in the, uh, when the you're AI heading out one. yes yeah. it's arrived did i show it to you the last no, time no it's been like, hasn't it? yes 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 <clears throat> All right, inhale for me and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale and relax. You good? All good. So I feel when you pull up my mm -hmm. right trap, that little creates a little bit of tension. Yeah. Okay. My right trap just feels like if you would keep pulling, it would just like click. Okay. Which feels somewhat required in that <laughs> sense. You know okay. I mean? Okay. Yeah. We will. We will click you. <laughs> but I don't know if this position is the right one. Yeah. You maybe you've seen those YouTube or you yeah, say you know, the, the yeah, yeah the Y strap. Yeah. No, I'm not a firm believer in that. I don't know what the side effects are of it. I haven't been trained in that technique, and it looks painful. Mm. All right, last round. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. 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 And exhale. And rest. Right, let's just get this in here. Okay, let's get you to sit for me, please. Okay, face down for me. Good. 
Good? Yep. All right. We're going to do some intramuscular electrostimulation in the neck. But sensitive? Uh, so good. Okay. Oh, nice twitch. All right, you're going to start to feel it pulsate. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Yep. Light, mild, or strong? Light. Now? Mild. All right. Five minutes, and then we'll reassess you and um, do some manipulation. Okay. And my weigh-in on Saturday. Oh, last one. Yeah, so um, thanks. I'm just trying to get back. I'm going to try to get to 90 now. Yeah. And then I'll see how I feel. I can't remember what it's like being down to 90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, like, good on you, though. Once I get an idea of how it feels, I guess I know whether I want to go to 80 or whether I want to try and get down to 85 or... But the weight... The weight has, um, carrying less weight, it has an effect on my ability to adjust patients. Because in big guys, like the guy that just left, yeah, it is a little bit dif more difficult. Yeah, of course. Because I don't have that extra weight to use. Yeah. I can create the lever, but putting the weight behind it is a bit tough. <clears throat> I guess I just got to get faster. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> you okay? Mm -hmm. Not too strong? Oh, good. What okay. That, what does that do again? So this is an impulse adjuster and uh, it's programmed with the same frequency required to, to do a manipulation. Wow. Um, same frequency of impulse. So there's a certain velocity that needs to be imparted onto the facet joint in order to bring about a manipulation or to bring about the crack or the click. This device has that velocity and frequency of manipulation. Right, okay. So we can bring about the effects of manipulation in the joint without actually moving the joint. Uh, it's actually very interesting that that device was designed by Dr. Koloka, who's an American guy. While a patient was having spinal surgery, they placed in electrodes into the, into the facet joints and they measured what... Uh, velocity of force is required to bring about the effects of a manipulation. Oh. <clears throat> All right. So. Okay, let's get you to raise your right leg for me, please. From the hip, sorry. And down, left leg, and down. Okay. Any discomfort there? No. Any discomfort there? Uh, 
A little bit on my right hand side, yeah. A little bit on the right? Yeah. Okay. Feels a little bit tight here. Not so much here. Oh, all good. All good. Okay, it's a bit tight on that side. Okay. Okay, lift your head for me, please. Oh, sorry. And then just turn to the left. In the head? Yes. Yep. Okay. Bring this arm up for me. Place it under your hip. Yeah. Drop that down. Okay. Inhale. And exhale all the way out, all the way out. There we go. You good? Mm-hmm. All right. That was a bit of madness, huh? <laughs> Let's get that you. That was a big old boy. That was a big one, man. There you go. All right. Roll for me. In. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. Bring this arm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. All right, keep that arm there. Lift your head for me, please. I'll move you. Leave your body loose. Leave your body loose. Inhale, exhale. There we go. You good? Mm hmm On your back for me, please. Let's have a feeling here. See what's going on. Feel sensitive on that right side. Okay. Bend your knees for me, please. Bend your knees for me. There we go. Leave your head loose. Inhale, exhale. You good? Mm -hmm. Bring your hip forward, slightly forward for me. Great. Okay. Hold on to my tricep. Let's bring this arm through. Great. Place that hand there. Place this hand over. Now, roll your hip. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, that went already. Yeah. Inhale. Exhale all the way out. Here we go. You good? Yeah. All right, let's go the other way. This is going to be hip. Bring your hips to the edge for me. Straighten your bottom leg. There we go. Give me this arm. Okay, and on there, roll this hip forward, inhale, exhale, great. All right, let's get you on your back for me, please. Let's retest these muscles. Push towards your hip for me, please. Hard as you can, go, go, go. Fantastic. Push across for me, please. Go, go, go. Fantastic. Let's get you up for me. Swing your legs over. Let's have a look. Finger extension. Push up, push, 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 push. How does that feel compared to before? Able to hold it. Yeah, maybe it's yeah. Hold it. Make a fist, lift up. Push up, push, that's much better. All right? Yes, okay, sir. guys. Appreciate that. Lovely. So, that brings an end to our session with Hoods today. Do you want to let our subscribers know where they can find you? Um, yes, yeah, so Instagram is at Hoods Fitness. At Hoods Fitness. <laughs> Simple, <laughs> easy. All right. Nice and easy. So, guys, please hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take Appreciate care. Appreciate that, bro. Cheers. Cheers. If you have any questions or suggestions 
on topics that you may want us to discuss, please drop them in the comments section below.